Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to uniquely identify your phone, your Android phone by using the Android ID from your Android app. So let's begin. We will create a new project and use an empty activity. Android unique ID. Again, the name doesn't matter. So I click finish and wait for my environment to load. It may take a while. My environment is still loading. So what we'll do is we'll fetch the Android ID, which is basically an alphanumeric uh, text and which is unique to each Android OS. So let's wait for the environment to load up. Once the environment loads up, I'll go to my layout. The layout, the text view, the default text view, what we get, I'll keep it. I'll give it some ID, probably text view. I'll make it a little bigger also so that our output is displayed. I'll use this to display my output. I'll make the size a little bigger, size from 14 to say, for example, 20. And I'll also put up, I'll just remove this, change it to programmable, the name of my channel. I'll put a button to fetch the id so i'll name this button as android id and give the constraints the required constraints place it somewhere in the center bring this also up so that's all from my layout perspective i'll go to my java code quickly define this class variable private text view text view and i'll associate this text view variable to the widget from my layout which is basically I think uh, my r dot no it's not r dot layout r dot id dot text view yeah perfect I'll also create a public method public void button android id I think spelling is wrong. Android ID view, and then I'll associate this uh, method to my button on click attribute over here in the layout. I'll come back to the layout, and the layout in this on click attribute, I'll set this particular method. In the Java code, the code is very simple. It's just one line of the code. I'll create some string a variable which is string Android id and the value of this will be will fetch from settings dot secure dot get string and in this we have to first give i think the content uh, resolver so that you can so you can get a current uh, content resolver of this particular uh, app and then we can ask for settings ah, I think it came uh, I think I can directly type Android ID yeah this one so that's all and now we'll print this in our text view so let's see what the output we get set text and we can just print this string Android ID we'll run this in our emulator and see how it comes up so as I told this is an alpha numeric uh, string and I think I can make it in a two lines. I'm waiting for my emulator to load on the right hand side. So my app is now installing or most likely it's loading up. Yeah, app has come up. Perfect. So this is the button. I think when I press this, I expect it to return my a uh, unique id and that is what i can see over here perfect so that's all i just wanted to see uh, yeah so this is a unique id to this uh, em my emulators android and this is completely unique and yeah and you can easily fetch it and use it for uh, tracking the apps or identifying the particular phone uh, with this unique id so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.